The SLPP expressed its stance on the trade union actions launched. There is always a group that does not allow the government to make the necessary decisions. That group was led by the JVP. Not every trade union is a terrorist group. But there are few terrorist trade union groups. Recently, a trade union member representing the port trade union said that they had not allowed 15 vessels to dock at the port and all these vessels had to turn back. He also said that the country would suffer a loss of millions, that they will continue to protest and not allow for any vessels to dock. Who is this individual? He is a candidate of the JVP. What are the members of the CEB saying? That they will turn off the switches, that they will turn off the main switch of the country on the 15th. Now all those chants have faded away one by one. The one who keeps bowing down is also a fool. So we need to stand together. So as a party we must unite. Do not fear. We are with you through everything. Who are these people protesting? Can they take decisions about the country? If you really have a look, it's the same faces that we see on TV. Not even 0.25% of the country's population is present at these protests. There's a group of lawyers that continue to condemn the government. If you really look at it, it's not even 0.25%. 0.25% cannot make decisions for 22 million. Former Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksa commented on protests carried out by professionals during a Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna meeting held in Munaragala. I urge teachers to think about children as well. You have children as well. I request doctors and health sector employees to fight for their rights without putting patients' lives to test. There's nothing wrong in winning labor rights. We too have a right. But the power of these protests will go beyond those with vested interests if people and the country are being prioritized.